Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a first look at ChatGPT4 and what I think of it, etc, etc. There's no point hiding it. Uh, for now, I'm probably going to continue using 3.5 and I'll show you why in this video. So what do we want to write about? Let's write about, let's do an article. So first of all, let's just do any random article. So human written content, let's say best suits for 2023, whatever. So this is still model 3.5, okay? And the reason that I'm gonna continue probably using this at least for now is for one very important reason. Let's change it to chat GPT-4 and then let's do the same thing. And you'll instantly be able to see why I'm gonna continue using 3.5 for now. So best. Suits 2023, press enter. It is so much slower. In fact, it's at the point where it's so slow that it's not good, okay? This is not useful for me at the moment, unfortunately. And I wanna talk a little bit about why that might be. So let's go to chat GPT-4 or just uh, GPT-4 it should be, uh, because chat GPT is this and GPT is like the language model. So one of the problems right now is yes, it has um, advanced reasoning capabilities, okay? So that means logically speaking, if you're writing in some kind of logical niche, uh, like health or whatever it might be, then chat GPT surpasses, sorry, GPT-4 surpasses chat GPT in its advanced reasoning capabilities, okay? So that's super important for certain people, okay? And the reason is it, it can figure out riddles, it can figure out complex problems such as this. You can see here the uh, ChatGPT's output here is incorrect, whereas the output here is correct, okay? And there was a really, really popular kind of picture going around that was saying that ChatGPT3 couldn't solve the problem of, um, was it if your sister is born one year before you what is it how do... okay so yeah this is the problem so when you're when you were born your sister was twice my age or whatever and it's really really common to get this question wrong as a human and also chat gpt was at some point getting this question wrong chat gpt4 or gpt4 would not get this question wrong which is why in certain circumstances you're gonna want to use chat gpt4 However, for me personally, although it's more intelligent at maths and science and logic and all that kind of stuff, I am not writing that kind of content, okay? I am writing quick, snappy, listicle, blog post, informational articles in a niche that does not require authority, okay? If your niche requires authority, such as your money or your life, so your money or your life basically uh, means that, yeah, Y-M-Y-L. It basically means a niche that's in finances or uh, health. If you're in one of these niches, you're going to have to use ChatGPT4, okay? So you're going to have to put up with the slower content for now, which is not really necessarily a bad thing because the content that you have to produce to rank on Google has to be correct and it has to be amazing quality. So my advice to you is if you are in a sciencey, mathematical niche or your money or your life niche, you're gonna want to use chat GPT-4. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these two links in the description. There is the product GPT-4 and there is the research GPT-4. I want to talk a little bit about the research GPT-4 because I just find this absolutely fascinating. So this is openai.com slash research slash GPT-4. So we've created a GPT-4, the latest milestone in OpenAI's efforts in scaling up deep learning. GPT-4 is a large multimodal model which accepts images and text inputs. I can't work out if that's possible yet. I don't think it's possible to put images in right now, uh, but I will definitely be experimenting with that, guys. Do not worry about that. Uh, accepting image and text inputs, emitting text outputs that while less capable than humans in many real world scenarios 
exhibits human level performance on various professional and academic benchmarks. So this is super interesting to me, okay? We've created GPT-4, the latest milestone in OpenAI's efforts in scaling up deep learning. GPT-4 is a large multi-module modal model that, well, blah, blah, we've already said that. GPT-3.4, for example, it passes a simulated bar exam. The bar exam is if you want to become a lawyer, I think, in the US, with a score around in around the top 10 of all test takers. In contrast, GPT 3.5 score was around the bottom 10%. What does that mean? Already, if I had some kind of law firm, if I was writing for a law firm or whatever it might be, this would be huge news for me. If I had a law firm and I wanted to create a lot of GPT content, I would instantly be swapping over to GPT 4 and cranking out some amazing and accurate content. We've spent six months iteratively aligning GPT-4 using lessons from our adverse, adversarial, adversarial <laughs> testing program as well as chat GPT. This is perfect. So it's learning from everything we've been doing, resulting in our best ever results. Though far from perfect on uh, factuality, steer this is really important. This is probably one of the most important words that they could use. Factuality is so important for SEO and it's so important for writing good content. Uh, steerability, this is perfect as well, which means that you can steer uh, the AI into the way that you want it to create content and refusing to go outside of guardrails. Over the past two years, we rebuilt our entire deep learning stack and together with Microsoft Azure, co-designed a supercomputer from the ground up for our workload. A year ago, we trained 3.5 as the first test run of the system. We found and fixed some bugs and improved our theoretical foundations. As a result, our, uh, our GPT-4 training run was, for us at least, unprecedentedly stable. Becoming our first large model whose training performance we were able to accurately predict ahead of time. As we continue to focus on reliable scaling, we aim to hone our methodology to help us predict and prepare for future capabilities increasingly far in advance, something we view critical for, as critical for safety. We are releasing GPT-4's text input ability. Okay, so at the moment, the image is not available right now. To prepare the image input capability for wide availability, we're collaborating closely with a single partner by BeMyEyes.com. Interesting. We're also open sourcing open AI evals, our framework for automated ev evaluation of AI model performance to allow anyone to report shortcomings in our models to help guide further improvements. So this, this is insane. This is honestly insane. Let's have a look at some of the data that they have here. So exam results ordered by ChatGPT 3.5 performance. <laughs> you can see here that basically on everything it outperformed. Okay. Some of these are super interesting. Uniform bar exam, amazing. AP English language exam, it seems like they didn't make it run, which is kind of weird. Um... Yeah, it's mainly just the standard kind of exams. AP Calculus BC, it absolutely destroyed, apparently, which is pretty interesting. Um, and this is all just the data, etc., that just basically shows that this is an absolute game changer. It looks like the translation's better, which is perfect. That's exactly what we needed, um, because I did hear that the translation on 3.5 was quite bad sometimes. But then here's the real game changer, the multimodal, the thing that everybody is talking about. GPT-4 can accept a prompt of text and images. That is insane. If you can edit text, if it can edit things, photos, using my words, that'll be amazing. I don't know if the output is only text, though, so we'll have a quick look. Which, parallel to the text-only setting, lets the user specify any vision or language task. Specifically, it generates text outputs, natural, okay, natural language code, etc., given inputs consisting of okay so it looks like it doesn't actually give uh outputs as text okay but an example of this is the uh why is this picture funny and it's um it's a vga charging an iphone which is obviously impossible and gpt4 says the image shows a package for a lightning cable adapter with three panels a smartphone panel one a smartphone with a vga connector plugged into its charging port. The humor in this image comes from the absurdity of plugging a large outdated VGA connector into a small modern smartphone charging port. That is insane that it, it can pick up 
all of that and give it out. I know people already knew this, but I just honestly, I think this is absolutely insane. This is just going to change everything. And we're all here for it, guys. And there's going to be plenty more content um, like this. But what I would say for now is definitely stick with 3.5 just until they release a turbo. So if you look here, default 3.5, the reasoning is 3, the speed is 5 out of 5, and the conciseness is 2 out of 5. Legacy is 3 to 1, and GPT-4 is reasoning 5, speed 2, it should be a 1. I think that 2 is very generous. And conciseness, which is 4. Okay, for me personally, I'd rather have the speed. I don't really care if it gives me some bad information sometimes, just because the topic that I'm talking about is not particularly competitive. If you are in a competitive niche, GPT-4 is already going to transform the way that you create content. I have a lot more content coming, guys. I'm going to be talking about your money or your life niches, talking about more blogging stuff, etc., etc. But for now, at least, I don't think GPT-4 is quite as... It's, it's not quite there yet. I don't even know if they should have released it, but I guess they just wanted to release it and put it in alpha or beta or whatever it might be. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you really, really soon with some more content. Peace out.